Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. I am here today with the seventh sphere, Lenormand. I've been waiting and waiting, checking the tracking, watching it get closer and closer. And I finally, I saw, I got the notification it was delivered. I ran right out to the mailbox to get it. So the bad news is that this is not an official unboxing because I already tore into it. So uh, here's how it comes. Nice sturdy box. Okay. And this was totally wrapped in plastic. Um, but like I said, long gone. So here's the box. And you can see the side detail. There's the bottom, the top, the side. Here's the back of the box. Okay. Really, the attention to detail with every element of this deck is just out of this world. Inside, on the left here, we have this message of empowerment. And we have this continued cool detail inside. Okay, so as soon as you open this box, the first thing that you're going to see is this pamphlet that sits on top. Just a pamphlet, that doesn't bother me because um, it's not something that I often refer to, but it has all the card meanings. And then on the back is just an overview to the cards, um, how to read them, some different spreads, which is cool. Um, on the back here, we have about the cards, um, talks about how they are made from recycled plastic and they are thus waterproof, which is super cool. They're very sturdy. They make a good sound. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but I also feel like everybody watching this video knows exactly what I mean. That when you get a new deck, they make a sound. <laughs> and sometimes they make a sound, you're like, oh, that doesn't sound great. But then other times you're like, oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the good deck sound. So anyway, I know that's weird. Sorry. So let's take a look at the cards themselves. Here's the back. There's that holographic element that's really cool hopefully the camera's picking that up all right and let's just take a look at the cards themselves so here's rider you can see that here there's um the number and the title and then up here in the upper right hand corner they do keep the playing card correspondences but they are really just minimalistic and out of the way and they don't interfere with the overall card them itself so I know some Lenormand decks, there's just so much on them. There'll be like a poem and, you know, the, the mini playing card in the corner. And sometimes it's just too much for me and it's like overload. I can't connect with the card, what the card's trying to say. So I really like this deck. It's just minimalistic. Um, it's borderless and the cards just really kind of flow into one another well. So here's Clover, Ship, House, Tree. Let's move these over a little bit. Okay, let's see how it's fitting in there. I have trouble with my videos, guys. Okay, then we have Clouds, Snake with the Apple coffin with the new life or perhaps the old life flying away bouquet scythe whip birds child i like the child is in silhouette so we're not locked into any particular set of assumptions fox with the fish in its mouth bear i like the bear with the the crown above its head star stork dog i like the element of of protection here like it's a guard dog he's on the lookout tower garden mountain crossroad mice heart ring with the infinity symbol there book i appreciate the glasses since i'm very i'm a velma if you don't know what that means <laughs> you're probably very young but i'm definitely a velma letter 
very official looking. It's like an official document there. Now this is cool. So instead of having the typical gentleman card, they change it to the anonymous, which I really like. So it doesn't have to mean an actual man. It could be just this male energy. And I like the sharp, the geometric corners here and how that contrasts to the anima, this feminine energy with this flowy, flowy imagery. Lily, sun, moon, key. I like the key kind of seen through the lock fish, anchor, and cross. So there we have it. There are the cards in the seventh sphere Lenormand. And really, this is just such a gorgeous deck. You can see just how well the colors kind of blend into each other. If we were just to throw, say, just some sample and just see kind of how they play together. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? There we go. I love how, oh, excuse me. Don't mind me, just a second, coming through. Oh, now I'm hitting the camera. Oh boy, I need like a cameraman or something here. I gotta hire someone. Okay, so here we go. Look at just the way these colors kind of go together to tell this story. I can't wait to start using this. I haven't used it yet because I wanted to keep the cards somewhat in order for the flip through, but now all bets are off. I'm going in. So that's it. That's the Seventh Sphere Lenormand. If you have any questions, please feel free. Leave them in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. You'll get lots of new content, including more looks into my deck addiction. Thank you very much. See you later.